All right, welcome to the last video in the first unit. Today we're talking about how we're gonna be doing counting. This is important and this is cool. It's <laughs> So pay attention. It's going to be updated as we go. We're gonna slightly adjust the way we talk about counting uh, over the course of the course. <laughs> But for now, we're gonna keep it simple. That's my philosophy, keep it as simple as we can the whole time. So take a look at this time signature. We've got four over four. And what that is gonna tell us for our exercises is that we're going to be counting four, we're gonna be counting to four and then starting over. So one, two, three, four. Next measure, two, three, four, and one, two, three, okay, so like that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna load this up with a bunch of quarter notes might as well, I'll just do all of them for now, okay? And um, I'm gonna actually, I'll take out a couple here and there. And uh, let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna count, I'm gonna show you how I want you to be doing these exercises from now on. So I'm gonna give you four to start, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna play and count. So you notice how I'll keep counting even when I'm not playing. So let's give it a shot. One, two, three. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. 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 So notice that I, I was still counting even though I wasn't playing, I wasn't slapping my thigh or I wasn't playing a note. I wasn't creating a sound during the rests, but I was still counting that beat. All right? Um, now you'll see that for a three, four, you can imagine it's, it's something similar is gonna happen. You're just gonna be able to only fit three per measure. So here's a here's four. We'll, we'll do a couple of interesting little tricky things. And let's see what happens with three, four times. So let's try again. One, two, three. 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 So again, I, I counted out loud where the, the rests were. You might think about them as holes. And I really want you to count out loud. You, you kind of have to do it for, the, for a long, long time. Count out loud. The whole idea is to make it explicit. Um, you're thinking about numbers and placement of notes relative to, to counting. So applying some really formal rhythmic structure to what you're doing. And um, I think a lot of people miss that point. I think it's worth emphasizing that you are literally counting in your head or out loud at first um, very explicitly each part of the measure and that's going to be how you're able to maintain your loc you know where you are and actually read stuff so yes it's it's awkward at first but actually do the counting out loud it's a, it's going to be your first musical challenge being real challenge being able to count and play something that's slightly different okay so 2 4 let's finish this out We'll do four measures of two, four. We'll take out that. And uh, and let's see what happens if we do that. Okay. So we'll start from right here. Measure nine. So see here's eight, nine. Measure nine. And let's see how it goes. Two for free. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Every time I'm playing a rest, you can't see it, but I'm actually playing I'm almost like hitting something in the air with the back of my hand almost like I'm like putting my hand out saying like hey where's my money you know like that motion I'm marking the rest I'm almost playing it as a note it's just a very very quiet note and I really 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 recommend that you do that so that you're really thinking about rests as notes they have a specific duration they just happen to be silent so that's how we're gonna be doing counting for now Pay attention to when that shifts a little bit, but we'll, we'll keep updating it, and this is, I think, a good way to think about it, nice and simple.